Can you wait until 2022 to see what this is going to be? Well, that's the bad news. That's the new opening date for the newly renamed property called the Drew. It's unfinished blue resort that has really watched over the north end of the strip since the recession, sleeping back there. It stopped its construction back in 2009. Now it has a new opening date. New at 6, our Jeff Gillen joins us with that story. That's right. Good evening, everybody. It was supposed to open in 2020, but this two-year delay could actually be a good thing. The reason is, look what's happening around it. A convention center expansion due in 2021. Resorts World due to open in 2020. Now we're learning the Drew, which used to be the Fountain Blue, will watch those openings while it's under construction. It makes sense to commercial broker John Knott. That I think we end up with an, a project that opens a couple years later that's magnificent. I think it bodes well for the city in general. Uh, just as we kind of have a pipeline of new openings. Not at one time was selling the property for its former owner, Carl Icahn, who eventually sold it to developer Steve Whitkoff in 2017 for $600 million. But outward progress has been slow. Whitkoff told the RJ this week it took some time to get everything together. We can confirm project's total cost, $3.1 billion, now scheduled for opening the second quarter of 2022. Whitkoff's company also announced The Architect, a company called Diller, Scafido and Renfro, which plans a theme honoring our desert, our mid-modern and our spectacle. In the meantime, the Drew sits, poised for action. When Icon owned it, he spent seven million a year on upkeep. And I, you know, I have not been back through it recently, but I'm assuming that Steve Whitkoff was, you know, with the investment that he made was spending the same kind of money to keep it uh, in first class manner. Whitkoff is partnering with Marriott, ensuring a stream of customers and conventions. It's going to be the world's largest Marriott convention hotel, which in and of itself, I think, speaks volumes. And so we wait for one of the city's best known buildings to show life. So I have reached out to Wickoff personally and do hope to hear from him. Uh, now that the opening date has been nailed down, the Drew is starting to book rooms for what are called group customers. The company says the response has been, quote, overwhelmingly positive.